Hello, so this is my second video about the, well, uh, just lightly touching on the abandoned dogs, but it's, uh, it's just leading on from that. And it's again about betrayal. You see, I was, my attention was drawn to this because Tim Pool made the comment that those poor Marines who got killed in uh, Kabul, well, the, the gate of Kabul airport, they got killed because they were keeping the gates open for the Brits. Blaming the Brits, I told you in the previous video, I reminded you rather, that Obama used the law to get at his political opponents. But he also spent a lot of time blaming the Brits for various things. And it was absolutely, he hated Britain. That was quite obvious. And he spent a lot of time deflecting people's aggravation onto Britain. And, well, as people have said that Biden's um, administration is Obama point three, and uh, it's the similar sort of situation here. It's the British army that's responsible for the death of those Marines. No, it isn't. The British army has backed up the American forces with great dedication, bravery and professionalism. As a matter of fact, I'd say that the British Army is one of the best trained and the most professional in the world. And I'm very proud of them all. And the Biden administration are betraying that loyalty that the British showed to them, just like they betrayed those loyal dogs. Don't be fooled by this story about the British being to blame or the Afghan army to blame. It's just a deflection. No, the Biden administration deserted their allies. They, they, they left Bagram Airport without telling anyone. Can you imagine? And then their soldiers got killed because they didn't have the backup that they needed from the allies that they had abandoned or rather that the administration had abandoned for them. And that, by the way, includes the dogs, because the dogs would have been able to identify a bomber. That's what they're trained to do. If the American army had kept Bagram open, for instance, none of this would have happened, none of it. So who's to blame for those Marines getting murdered in that way? They could have stayed in Bagram for days or weeks till they had everyone out and in a controlled and reasonably secure way. And the Taliban wouldn't have been able so easily to control the people who were trying to get to the planes. Because they were stopping people from getting in. There's uh, situations where people had all the right papers and the Taliban wouldn't let them through anyway. May moving out of Bagram... It, it, if I were asked to give my opinion of that, I would say it's as if Biden was actually trying to get people killed. Anyway, don't blame the Brits. The British Army has backed up America honourably and with dedication for years. And we have lost many of our own casualties. I uh, I also I want to add that the uh, both the USA and the British forces, the ones who've died, actually don't say it was for nothing because that's not true. For the past 20 years, Afghanistan has not been a breeding ground for terrorists. It's been relatively stable. I think we'll find out just how bad things can get over the next few years with nobody there. And we'll realise how much peace those soldiers bought for us with their lives. And there are people alive today who would not have been alive if not for the work and sacrifice of those soldiers. Right up until the time the American commander in chief threw away those Marines at the gate, really for no reason. But again, what does this administration have to do with loyalty and to those abandoned dogs, whatever they were? It reminds us 
well, it reminds me anyway of the rottenness at the heart of the American administration. They were the absolute essence of everything that's wrong with the Biden administration's handling of this situation. Those Marines and those dogs deserting your allies, deserting those who relied on you, not knowing what you were doing when that's your job to know what you were doing. Leaving important things for the enemy to use against you and against your soldiers, ultimately. And against your allies who are still stuck there, who apparently uh, the Taliban have all the information that they need to hunt them down. The main thing is, the main story is betrayal in every way possible. That's the only word. Betrayal. That's what the American government has done to the British army and, and the other armies, to it, its working people. I, I seem to remember somewhere along the line, somebody said, well, what about all those Afghanis who used to work for you, still stuck there? I don't remember who it was, but whoever it was said, well, we paid them. Can you imagine? with so little moral compass. And those dogs, well, we fed them. I don't know whether he said that, but that's the, so they can die now. Betrayal in every single way. And of course, betrayal of US soldiers. Betrayal of those Marines, they should not have been there. It's, uh, well, what a, there is no other word to describe the American government but a bunch of traitors. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grembo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.